Welcome to Margaret B. Margaret. I wanted to show you that I last night came out and did the ratchet, whatever, <laughs> on the raised bed. Here's the ratchet. This is where I'm talking about, right here, that I need to bring this in. I don't know if I can. I figured if I did it last night, I might just be able to get it to do it a little bit every day. If I have to try to dig that out, I have so many big rocks in there and I don't see how I could do it. It's getting, it's definitely closer than it was. Boy, it's getting hot out. This is going to be a two minute job only. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to tighten it some more. <laughs> I need somebody with some muscles. I closed it up. <laughs> I don't know if you can even tell. Holy mackerel, Andy. All right, one more. You can see how much... Where's my hand? There it is. That this closed that up. There was a like a two-inch gap there, and it's down to... No soil can come out. I don't know if it's going to get any better if I leave it. I'm going to try. Hopefully that will keep pulling it in. Then if it does, I can get some deck screws and screw it in to hold it like a dozen of them this time. Holy mackerel, it's warm out. But it's a beautiful day. I thought that I would stop power washing the, the shed again and the fence today, but it's the humidity is unbelievably high. And I think with my breathing, that's a good excuse as any not to do it. Anybody take off in the summer on vacations, either here or in Europe, or in Australia, and all the other places that I'm fortunate enough to have people visit us from. I have no plans to do any kind of traveling anymore. Not for any reason except I'm just so content here. And, you know, visiting with everybody now like this and hearing about different parts of the world a little bit, you need to share more. You know, like how do you do your grocery shopping or your food shopping or whatever you call it? Do you have large supermarkets? Are they small local stands? Are you in the city where you shop daily? Or are you in the country where you do a big shopping? How many of all of us have taken advantage of the grocery pickup services since COVID a couple years ago? I know when I go to Hannaford's, there's still a whole bunch of shoppers and carts lined up for people to pick up their shopping for them. I don't, you know, tell me the, the benefit of that, except to save time, because I like, especially buying um, produce, I like to pick them out. I need to, I'm very tactile. I need to touch my vegetables. So tell me about your experiences and what you do. You know, I live in a very sheltered little world. I don't know how the rest of the world operates all that much. I guess I'm done talking for now. Good afternoon, everyone. It's 4th of July. It is 4.30 in the afternoon. Rainy, crappy day. The thunder and lightning. I'm actually going to drop a picture because I always say my house is in a little valley and we have a different weather system. Check out this picture and tell me. Yeah, that's my house right there. It's been miserable out. I sat and had about 20,000 cups of tea. I read a book, I didn't do much else. And if I don't do something, I'm going to lose my mind. <clears throat> One of the things I was looking at is I need to wipe off all of these lines. I've been using dryer sheets. Oh, let's start at the top. That would just make sense, wouldn't it? And let's turn them so you can reach them. All the good things that I should have enough brains to do. I was going to go grocery shopping 
And I think it's more just to get out of the house than anything else because outside of running low on milk, I'm not running low on anything else. And I want junk food. I can't stop eating junk food. This is gross. Another round of thunder going through. For a while, the thunder was right on top of us. And I did check that the weather radar and it showed that it hit my neighbor's next door backyard. I hope you had a great fourth. I hope you had weather that could support having some outdoor activities. The only thing we could do is shower and get electrocuted. I'll talk to you later because I'm done. Hey everybody, I'm sitting in the car wash so you know two minutes to talk to you. I'm putting a little clip below I went to Newport with my sister Shirley yesterday. I thought I would be able to show you the beautiful water. Um, there's a 12 mile drive with mansions. We went to Second Beach for all of you who know it. Not to go to the beach, but just to walk at the top of the cliff. I had never done that before. That was very nice. And then I asked Shirley to go along the 12 mile drive, which is well, well known and is beautiful got there and it was <laughs> fogged in. I mean, it was completely fogged in. So you got nothing. You can have two little clips and I'll show them at the end. But I have to tell you this, this is not nice. <laughs> Last night, I was just about asleep and all of a sudden I saw emergency lights. And next door, there was an ambulance which is scary and I'm not going to go back to bed until I know who's walking out here, um, who it's for, and I was very, very concerned. But I'm sitting in my bedroom window waiting for them to bring out, if they're going to bring out whoever it is, and I'm sorry, this just is wrong. The window was very, very cloudy and dirty, and while I was waiting, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I went and got stuff to clean the windows in the bedroom. So one o'clock in the morning, I'm washing a window and I really, be kind, it was nervous energy of waiting. So this morning I found out that my neighbor is okay, yeah. but I just thought, who does that? Nervous energy, I couldn't sit there and wait. So I've got the window open with the air conditioner going because it's massively humid and I'm washing windows. Put them in, men, curve it. Oh. I'm gonna get my car finished cleaning. <laughs> I have to go do a tiny bit of grocery shopping. And then it's already 86. I've got to mow the lawn today. It's over my, well, well over my ankles. So everybody have a good day and I'm done talking. That's second beat, Shirley. I'm in Newport with Shirley. You want to be want to see? Look at, gotta say hi to Shirley. She's gonna let us say hi. Hey Shirley! Hi! <laughs> Thank you.